Welcome back to Papa Z's Bees. Got an unusual thing today. It's, it's March the 17th, which is a little bit early for, for swarm season. But if you look right up there, there's a big old swarm of bees. So we're gonna try to catch it. I'm, I'm not really prepared, it's a little bit early. Uh, at least in my thoughts, it process it's a little bit early. We had such a warm spring already, or late, warm late winter, that, uh, that I'm not surprised we're having, really not that surprised that we're having uh, swarm this early. Uh, I did look at some other hives this morning and there's already drones. So that's another good sign that it's about time for swarm season. So we'll move inside and get going. We're, uh, we've got the Hive Alive, excuse me, the Hive Butler tote right here under it with a few frames. I've got a nuke set up. The crazy thing about this is this is not but probably 20 feet away from two of my hives. I, I'm pretty sure they're not ours because I, I didn't see the, the, uh, the movement. So the plan is going to be I'm going to take this hoe up here and set it right on top of the branch and shake it down, hopefully... Now the thing's going to be, there's still bees all over the place here. Uh, my hope is that the queen is in here. If I can get the queen in here, then the rest of those bees will, will follow suit and come into this box. I think... What I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull these frames up in here and maybe we get lucky and she's in there. This is, this is what I'm seeing here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put, oh, there's a lot of bees already in there, that's good. I'm gonna put uh, all these frames in here. If you can see all those bees, that'll be helpful. Then I'm gonna add another box on top and then I'm just going to shake them all down in the box and just hope to pray the Queen's in there what we'll do is we'll put more frames in here be one frame short but that's okay for now in case of what again what I'm gonna do is just put the covers they're they're fanning uh, so they get their rear ends in the air or you can come here and see this one right here her rear end is in the in the air, and you can see her little Nazanoff gland there, which means that lets me feel pretty good about the queen being in there, because they're doing that to say, hey, the queen's in here, come come on in. So what we'll do is we'll put the cover on this and kind of watch it for a while. Hopefully we'll get some bees down on the cover, and there's a lot of bees going in, which is another good sign. And what hopefully we'll have here in a little while will be some more of the bees from the cluster over here. Some people might ask why I'm wearing a, a jacket here because typically um, swarms are, are pretty docile because they, they don't, they're not defending their home. But I'm so close to these my other two hives over here that I'm afraid that they may get in the process and get pretty, pretty upset too. So uh, I got it on there and I got stung on the leg when I was over there, but that was right after I dropped them. So it made him pretty mad. Uh, just so you know, by the way, I'm still kind of struggling a little bit with my knee. Uh, if you watch some of the other videos, you know I had my knee replaced on January 23rd. And so this is where we'll be eight weeks in on Tuesday. So still got a long way to go, but uh, I'm, I'm getting much better. So thoughts and prayers for me, if you would, about that. I'll probably come back out a little bit later and shoot some more uh, videos of the 
of the landing board and maybe put another frame in the box. And we'll just see what happens see what the bees over here, you know, where, the, where the drop zone was, as well as in this box. So, I waited a little while and then I came back out and looked and a lot of the swarm had collected back up in the tree and I don't see any bees on the landing board with Nazanoff. So we're going to try shakedown number two. So I think we probably lost most, a lot of them back to the, to the, to the swarm location. Point. It's just a guess to see what we've got. Uh, we may lose them. They may go back up in the tree. Not really sure what to expect. So I'll come back out and check them a little bit later when we have to do it again. I am going to go over here and look just right quick, see if I can see the queen in the ground. The clover is so thick back in there. I don't think I got much of anything. Let me see if I can see the queen. I don't. So, we'll give it a try again and come back on it later. Well, we didn't fare any better on the third time we tried. So, I decided uh, because the area between the the fence and where the swarm was was so small uh I, and in fact it was closer actually to the fence which made it even more difficult so when i even put the high butler under it it still didn't catch all the bees uh, probably i'll catch a third to half of the bees so and, and my luck with the, the queen was appeared to be in the in the not half so i put a table under the hive thought i could raise it up a little higher and move it a little closer to the fence at the top and really there was no difference. So we tried four times. Uh, after the fourth time I came back out to check, there were no bees in the box and I looked up and the swarm was gone. So they decided they didn't want to hang around here and be messed with anymore. So uh, we lost that swarm. As I said in the beginning, uh, a beekeeper, it's a beekeeper's responsibility to, uh, to be prepared. And, and I just was not uh, prepared for, for swarms this early. Uh, part of it, which, which is no excuse, but part of it was due to my knee surgery and uh, part of it was swarms have not been a thing I had to deal with too much. So uh, I plan on, on uh, next time uh, being prepared, you know, ordering, I'm going to order a, a large net like Fred Dunn uses and I'll put the information in, in, the, uh, in the video. Uh, hopefully it'll come in and, and then we can uh, be able to do a couple of different ways to try to, to capture bees. It'll take a while and if we have another one in the next few weeks, we'll have to deal with that. Hey, by the way, we, we just crossed a thousand subscribers just recently and, and I really, really appreciate that. Uh, it, it means a lot. Uh, you know, I, I, I tell things uh, like it is, like in this case, this video, I try to be transparent and say, I, I messed up. I, I didn't catch the bees that I needed to catch. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll learn something and hopefully we'll learn something together. So if you would hit the like button and subscribe and hit the little bell thing over there, that'll let you know that we have a new video out and you can, can watch it. And, uh, I really appreciate you, uh, you know, again, it's, this is, you know, as a beekeeper, you continually learn things and it's one of the things that I enjoy about it. I enjoy learning. And so anyway, if you'll, uh, please stay tuned, uh, come back later. We'll make some more videos and hopefully we'll learn more together. Thanks. Mm -hmm.